perverts, bullies, weirdos. Men in short shorts. Carmine Ragusa. And men in half shirts. And a cop with a fake mustache. Hey everybody, welcome to the Late Late Horror Show, Sleepaway Camp, 1983, Good year. commentary, here we, it. yeah, get all those beats god there. dang I keep forgetting my guitar, okay anyways, uh, yeah, we're, here we go, a movie, before we get into the movie and the commentary, Sleepaway Camp, 1983, we gotta talk about something, yeah, George Romero passed away, got that news last night as I was leaving work, lung cancer, yeah, keep smoking everybody. It'll get you in the end. Get your palmas. Smoke it. It's nice and refreshing oh. on their throat. I mean, he'll always Okay, we're be not going to go there, but he'll yeah. He'll always it's... be known for his, his dead movies, but yes. he did lots of other great movies. Don't forget Martin. Don't forget Creep Show. We Monkey did Martin. Shines, which yes. I know is on the radar for us we want to do. Yes. Um, the Crazies. The Dark Half. Two Evil Eyes with Dario Argento. Uh, a bunch of others. But, goes on and on, <clears throat> yeah. But you know, but I mostly know what an innovator. Night of the Living Dead and Dawn of the Dead, Dawn of the Dead, and, and yeah, Day the, of the Dead, and I mean, City of the Dead, and March of the Dead. Oh and my God, here you Dead go. in Ireland, pretty much. Uh, well, they they. Well, let's, them, okay, yeah. I just want to say for a moment, but rest in peace, George that, and, uh, and Martin had, Landau. We'll get to him. In he second. didn't just willy nilly, at least at first, make those zombie movies. He could have churned one out here, 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 here. It's like he had to have something to say. Yeah. And, you, and the zombies are just incidental. You know, Night of the Living Dead certainly has racial issues. Right. Even though oh, it's yeah. never said, it's felt. Dawn of the Dead is certainly about materialism and consumerism. And Day of the Dead, it's the 80s, the Cold War, the build-up, threat yes. of nuclear war again like in the 50s. Mm -hmm. Those are all the messages that are in those films. And then, you know, later on there's more. But, um, you know, not just a schlock director. And a true maverick did it without having to use... I mean, Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, done I'm, without a big I don't studio. mean to make light of it. I'm not. It's, uh, you're George Romero's looking down at probably going, <laughs> that was our guy. Right. Those are that guys that were like But he did it without the studios. Put you in a dead movie right now. There you go. He did it without the studios. I know, yep. You yep. know, old school, let's get it, you know, let's shoot this fucker. Yep. And uh, that's how it was done. And I think that's why a lot of fans like him. And um, maybe his output wasn't as great at the end as it was in the beginning, but so what? You know, he... Uh, was an innovator, a maverick, and gave us a few of the best movies of the genre. Will always be remembered That's for right. his horror. I mean, you know, for his horror. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and and then Martin Landau passed away too. Not so much horror, but hey, we, we, we Bela Lugosi won an Academy Award for it. There you go, and Ed Wood. Ed Wood with Johnny Depp. You know, so yeah, one of like three watchable Tim Burton movies. There you go. And uh, Space 1999. But anyways, we grew up with, yeah. old school uh, sci-fi. But uh, anyways, there you go. Had to say something. Rest in peace, you guys. And um, <clears throat> on with the show. Or oh, you say that. And now for the movie. Now for the movie. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Um, I just can't wait to watch it again. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'll tell you, Ted. I, Dean like was I, in love with this. He like wants to make love to this movie. Well, like we said at the very beginning, it's got, it's got your perverts, your bullies, your mm -hmm. weirdos. It's got... Men in half shirts who he's shouldn't to put his be. Through the hole in the DVD. I mean, he's... who <laughs> you? What? I didn't like it that much, but I, but I, but I enjoyed it. I mean, we've done some clunkers lately. Uh, yeah, you know. I mean, so yeah, I, I will tell you this: this is, is except this for Bri I mean, Brian Reman and Reanimator was. Good. You can take I mean, all but, those you know. little creature movies we've been doing lately, <laughs> and this is better than all of those put together. Yes, exactly. Right, I'll give it that. And um, just for the sheer here, let me let me value. start this baby. Yeah, let, let's fire it as up. as we talk about everything. In fond memory of mom, a doer. Uh, <laughs> a doer, but yeah, there's a lot of things about this movie. And Do they think mom would have been proud of this movie? Like if I my mom it. was still alive, she just she'd have loved this. Ted, there's so many things. As much as I enjoyed this movie, there's so many things that are wrong with it. Okay. Oh God, yeah. With, with you know the perversion and the there's young kids in this. I mean, there's a lot of older kids who you know how you look at most horror movies and you go. 
th- those are thirty year olds acting like they're eighteen. Right. No, no, these these are like eighteen year old kids. You could tell Angela and and Ricky and Paul. You could tell they're like they're like fifteen, fourteen. Probably. They gotta be, Probably. you know, something like that. This is the eighties. Nobody cared about uh, yeah you know, those issues. Although this is one of those movies that would not be made scene for scene today, like it is here. No, yeah, not at all. And we'll get to the scenes we're talking about as we go on here. Mm-hmm. There's a very weird opening montage with the music. Yeah, I thought the music really didn't fit. Like it was no. needlessly trying to build something that. Yeah, wasn't you see there. all these like it's all like barren. The cabin yeah, it's and the camp. stuff, and it's the camp. camp it looks off. like it's the fall. Maybe it's closed. For you, the fall. you know what the camp's name is again? Era. Arawat. Arawat, that's mm, right. Arawak. Camp Arawak. I think, or it might have been Arawak. Camp Arawak. I think what? Camp Arawak. Camp Arawak. I think Arawak. Well, Edie Burkell, They'll show us some. Edie Burkell did it. Don't ever it. mention Edie Burkell to me. She sang a song about that. Camp Arawak. No, 10,000 Maniacs. Well, okay, and that's all right. I then. want to. But, but Edie Burkell. They should tie I love Edie Burkell. Maniacs, but... Edie Burkell should be tied to a chair, and her own record should be played at her until she promises never to do it again. What was the song she sang? The rubber band? Or what was that? Drown me. And your See, it's a, it's, it's a brain worm. It got in there Before and it'll never leave. Oh, you get too deep. Oh, my God. What I Here am, I am is what I, I am. It'll wish you were away. It's great. I see. This is why I wish I had my guitar. It will be coming out. She but yeah, sold her soul to the devil. As we're doing, yeah. as we're talking about this, there's still the opening montage of the the basketball just, yeah, car just, uh, courts know, and the panning you know, across the camp here. you know as it, the people you know in the theater are putting popcorn and go oh man Getting it's going to happen already but yeah, yeah. They that, this man Jason's going to come out of the woods yeah. here or something and this is you know eighty three the the height of the slashers the the Halloween sequel the, and this isn't it was a couple of years ago the Jason movies were still going strong and and this isn't as there's maybe a couple go. There's one gory scene that you would be say slasher. This movie has a lot of interesting kills. I'd say the ones with the insects was probably the most gorious, maybe, but unless you're thinking of a different one. Well, I'm thinking of a knife in the back. That's the only. Yeah, you, you get I'm a showing. Right? No, yeah, it but it's whack. it's the yeah for sale. And you know, I was a so, little disappointed that for a slasher movie that takes place at a camp, and I yes, I know there's teenagers. There's not one tit or ass in the whole. No TNA. Movie. No. Not one. No, TNA. And you see potential ones later in the on. Like movie. Think, yeah, we're probably going to see her later on. Yeah, we're probably going to see her later. No. 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 Nowhere in the movie? No. 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 No? Mm-mm. Okay, but we're going to have <laughs> a disturbing scene, which this this scene right here takes place. No, you're I guess, dumb. For the, no, you're dumb. No, yeah. you're dumb. How annoying is the girl. Okay, there's a boat. Motorboat. Yeah, and the girl's on, <laughs> girl's on the skis and behind them. Now, she, she should be topless it's, while she's on that jet ski and, and water skiing back. Again, there. I think these are like 15-year-old nah, kids. No, she's older. So here's Dad with his kids, you know, on the, what is it, a schooner? Okay, well, there, there's the guy, kid. Ted, this part was very annoying. The, the, the motorboat's got a nagging teenager ne- mm-hmm. girl next to It looks like Napoleon this. Dynamite. Yeah, and he's hollering at her like this. Shut up! You're not going to ride this. You're not going to drive this thing, yeah. okay? Come on, get off my back, man. Tina, just be quiet, all right? And she's going, come on, man. You're not going to get in if you don't let me get in there and drive give me some it. chips? That's what he looks like. He looks like Napoleon Dynamite. He does. A blonde Napoleon Dynamite without glasses. And the two little kids and Daddy are Look, watching. All the kids get on one side. Dad doesn't say anything like, spread out, you mugs. You bastards. <laughs> and they push him over, and it's a fake fall. But I gotta give, I gotta give this movie this much. There's, there's not a, a whole lot of bad acting. You could tell that they're not bad. There's gonna acting. be some in a little. There's bit. some, but it's not all bad acting. Whereas a lot of these movies we've done has had some bad. Movies. Okay, it's not okay, all. But, but he. he sw- but that's not saying that most of it is good. She does convince him to pop on over. Oh, let me drive. And let him drive because. His hormones are raging. Yes. Even though he was, he and was then, swearing at her left and right yeah, and going. Was. So here's this guy. Hey, the doc's coming. <laughs> you got it's almost four thirty. You gotta come on. So they, the kids got to get to the shore. And really, what are they like? Sixteen inches away from the shore. Yeah, evidently they're not I mean, too far s- away. And the girls who's driving the motorboat, mm-hmm. she's got a little chub there. That's not so bad. Yeah. I mean, nothing wrong with that. Motorboat, um, like Ted would say. Yeah. But um. 
And look, the, the schooner is literally <laughs> right there. They could have been on shore already. I know. Jersey Shore. This this dumb girl who's driving the boat doesn't know what she's doing. Like, Not so fast. Not so fast. The girl who's jet skiing. Slow down. You're going to hit them. And How I, annoying was her screaming? Yes, look, I mean... I know, right he's, there. I know they're right next to the beach. You have and, plenty of time to turn. And the boy does turn. And yeah, there, man, the yeah. boat like goes right over the guy's head. And they don't. But here, and this look, part goes on for like sixty-three minutes. Yeah, that's what was very <laughs> annoying about it. Or she, the girl screaming who was on the skis, mm-hmm. water skis, and she just keeps screaming, and it's bad yep. screaming to you the see point. One kid flapping their arms around with a life jacket on. Oh, and there's dad. And, and, and there's no blow. There's no blood. I would have thought it would have taken his scalp clean off. Maybe it just broke his neck. Yeah. For, and, and then th- this... you see one of the kids' life jackets flow up, so you know one of the children. We don't know which one. They don't tell us, but the, one of the children is dead. Yeah. Oh, no, it's eight years. Then eight later. years later, oh, no. another. This is another very annoying scene. Oh Ted, my Ted God. Did not, And I agree with him. Mommy. This is Aunt this, Martha. Aunt Martha. Aunt Martha. Okay, look at this picture. That's okay, they a can't dude. see her. Well, iTunes. you're going to put it up there, I know. Yeah, but on YouTube, you can see. It'll be on the little TV you iTunes. Yeah. Whoever this person is, whoever this actor, that's a dude. If you say so. I, it's, it looks Does like that look woman. like a woman to you? It looks like a woman, that but is. it looks like a woman who could pass as a, a drag queen. Uh, like a dude. Uh, it looks yeah. like I thought I saw an Adam's apple. <laughs> you could be wrong, but and you know. It's whoever a, this person is, that is a dude. Look at the face. That's a dude. It's a woman with very thin bone structure. I get what you're saying, Ted. And I do get it. Top but three most annoying acting performances I've ever seen in my life. I'd rather watch like eight John Waters movies in a row than, than see oh this God. person. Just because, you know, that typically there's always like some really bad actors in those movies. Right. I, I, but, <laughs> I was going to say, wait, wait a second. John Waters films? We love that. I, 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 I know. Those, but, but, you but know, anyway. as far as acting goes. Yes. But she's there with Angela and uh, yeah, Ricky. I got a hard time saying she with this, but go ahead. Okay, it, it's got a, um, <laughs> it's it's there with Angela. Yeah. And Ricky. We'll, we'll just say who Angela are the Arthur. main, the most annoying actors. The main actors in, in the film, the two kids, and these two kids are. I know we're we're kind of biased. So this is cousin this. Ricky, and um, and she's acting all weird too, though. Like she's like, I I there was something I had to tell you. I've given tied a string to my finger. Yeah, and that's the that's the. Tone of voice, and it's and she's going. I gotta remember hmm. what always I'm finger to the chin. Hmm. But what we find yeah, out yeah, is uh, there's uh, Ricky and Aunt Martha. Is oh, Ricky's Ricky, mom. you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind. Hey, Ricky, hey, Ricky, Angela's going to camp, she's gonna get break. Oh, no, I'm not gonna so say Angela. So now he's like, Oh, okay, it was the girl that survived right. the accident. So here, and she was taken care of by her aunt and, and raised with her cousin. So They're she about did the same age. So she did survive. I won't give nothing away. She survived. She, she survived. survived. She survived. I know. Okay. And there's a, a big. She plot hasn't twist. spoken a single word. Let me just movie. say, there's a big, big plot twist at the end of this film. Well, this film was directed by M Night Shyamalan. Lama Lama. Really? Lama. Ding a dong. Yeah. M Night Shyamalan. So you know what to expect. Oh my little angel. Yes, go off to camp. Uh, go off to camp, have fun. You know, it, oh my God. And if Smoke I, marijuana, have lots of sex. Which, uh, yeah. And wear we're, sunscreen. We're, we're getting to the camp in a second. And this is just, oh my God, Ted. 95 bottles when, of beer on the wall. 99 uh, bottles of beer. Here it starts. Yes. This all was the little bastards get This was driving places. me nuts, though. Okay, first of all, you got kids of all ages from, it looks like... N- at least ten years old From up nine to, to ninety. Eight. Yeah, I mean mm-hmm. all age, but they're all running out of the bus, mm-hmm. and they're all screaming like a disaster's coming. Yeah, we're at camp. We're like a tsunami. Crazy. Like there's a tsunami coming. They're excited. It's summer. It's Ted, they're screaming. No going, mom and dad. Ah, whoa, Jaws. There's Tony Danza. <laughs> this guy trips. Me. There's the first sign of short this is right. shorts. Oh my god, you could. Look, Tony, he's gonna move is, his leg in a second. You, I tell you, you can totally see ball sack. Oh, you can. Because I was looking for it. Yeah, and and what? This there is, is, I think you saw ball sack right there. That that was Ronnie too, right? Yeah, Ronnie. Ronnie. Look at Mel. Mel's the guy who owns the place. Oh, he's always got his big cigar. cigar. Oh God, there's the hillbillies, the blacks, and the Mexicans that work there. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, this and, and, and see this mm, this guy right looking meat. <laughs> yeah, this guy right here is Arnie, and this is the disturbing part. Mm -hmm. That guy there picking his tooth is going, yeah, oh, lots of young girls. Lots it's very meat. disturbing. Lots of sweet meat. He goes, mm -hmm. he goes in the south. We call that baldies, mm -hmm. and and I'm like just going, that is just so disturbing. He likes some smooth. Yeah. I, oh. And God. how did he know that thirty years later that would be the trend? And that, yeah. There you go. You know, I guess in, deep down we. That is dis okay, Ted. Oh my <laughs> God, that's so disturbing. That this was the one part of this movie that was very disturbing yeah, to yeah. me. That a lot of these kids look so young, and what takes place in this camp, you're like, like even Angela sitting there. I guess I, there's I know no vetting of these, you know, people that come into work. You know, we're not doing any background checks. Mel's no. not checking on your background. No, I gotta edit this <laughs> at the beginning. Why? But and. Uh, what, my little comments? Oh, I can't keep that up you there. You can't but anyways, put that on there? No. Just Are you bleep kidding me? No, I, I, I think Ted said something inappropriate. No, I will. I will, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I, I, that's what, I can't leave that oh, up there. You guys. But anyways, but look at, them, look, at them, look at them all. They're all running like there's a tsunami coming. Well, they're and excited. There's, and you. if you can listen. Look, there's Ricky. He, he just met his friend Paul. They gave themselves the good, you know. And Ricky looks like Brian Bloom. You know, you remember who he was, Brian right? Brian Bloom. Okay, he doesn't remember that. Okay. If you, oh, if, and they're like, oh, remember how hot and heavy you were with Judy last year? Yeah. And he's like, yeah, she's got big ones now. She got big knockers. Yeah, and, um. And, and you know, they're not she's that talk, big. No. You know? Well, I mean, for camp, you know, these kids were younger. And, and they're coming back the after the boys. all the older boys. Yeah. As soon as you get Hooters girls, yeah, you this, get the this, attention. This girl's the hoe. Uh, but I like this too, where um, Ricky drops uh, Angela Angela off at. Well, he's protective of her. I like that. He no, he's her very protective and... of her. And look at Judy here. She's got her shorts all the way up to her tops. Yeah, they're pretty much right under the boobs. Yes, I mean shirt tucked in. Why this girl's like it is beyond me. I think I was she's talking just talking to some boys. I don't have time for you. I think she's just it because she's gives out. She's loose. So, you know, that's why. She's, she's like 11, a, Dino. I know. That, she's well, loose. She looks a little Edit bit older. Well, I yeah. got censored already. Yeah. The dump button. He's got a but dump we, button for me. But here we go. <laughs> I try to curve Ted's uh, mouth, I'm but it's very un-PC, so nice. man. I, I can't help it. But, like, in this, this cabin... Mm -hmm. The girls range from whatever Angela. Yeah, well, I think twelve yeah, to yeah. what are the they eighteen? But they might be the ones. I'd say she's charged. a little older than twelve. I'd say she's about thirteen, fourteen, maybe. Okay, okay. But that's about looks like the mean age of the girls there. And then there's like the counselor, like Meg. You know, she's like, all right, girls, listen up. I'm the you know I'm the head bitch in charge. And if you got any complaints, there's the complaint department. You know, she pointed some other broad. Mm -hmm. And you know, there it is. You know, like she's the counselor, and you don't even realize that till later on, like. Right after she's been really mean to yeah. Angela, it's like you're you're supposed to be like one of the people that you know the other kids are looking up to and following. Oh, and that you're go horrible. Just goes to show girls are terrible, man. Terrible to each Ted, other. This camp is in such disarray; it's not even funny. Oh yeah, there's but, the mess hall. But look, look at look, look at all those fly strips hanging down the dead. I, well, I was going to get to that <laughs> in the kitchen scene. Oh yeah, I forgot because that's the big scene. And isn't it weird? Right, the, they, they sing some chant. Like each table's got their own. I think each yeah. cabin has like their own chant. Yeah. Or something. So. F, 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 F. Oh my oh. God, there's Tony Danza again, Jesus. But, well, Meg was going up to Mel. I don't get that. Well, we're going to find out later on. She has the hots for Mel, right? We don't know it just yet, but it's coming in. I don't know why, because Mel, the guy who runs the camp, is an old dude whose mm -hmm. teeth look like baked beans. He's always got a cigar. And he died shortly after this movie, actually. He had lung cancer or something. So. Really? Well, yeah. he's older. But yeah, this guy trips me out. Okay, he goes well, he over... He looks like a really muscle-bound Steve Perry from Jersey. Ted, look at his shorts. Okay, oh everybody, if you're on YouTube, you got to watch his shorts. Jesus. They're all... I mean, they're not even I, shorts. They're I can't speedos. even look away. They're almost like Speedos. Yes, they're complaining that uh, Angela hasn't eaten anything, so... Ronnie comes over there. Yo, yo Angela. Yo, Angela. Yeah, but well, you don't like he the says food it, He says I like Tony Danza in a nice, com yeah. compassionate like, way. Well, maybe we can go in the back and find you something you like to eat. So, yo, yo, Arnie. Yeah, the pervert. So he brings yeah. the Now, pervert. I got to bring up here. If you guys are have watched this movie or whatever, the, uh, the guy Ben, the, the black fellow who's at the stove there. Yeah. He's James Earl Jones's 
father. And you'll notice when you listen to his voice, uh-huh. you, you could hear Darth Vader in that voice. I did not know that until Ted told me that, and, oh. and now I got to go back and yep. re-listen again. Just listen to him talk a little, like at the right. beginning part when he's talking about the sweet meat. Uh-huh. You know, the part where I got wow. dumped. Uh, yeah, right there, but yeah, you can tell James, that's a very oh, distinctive no, voice. yeah, and even how he looks, too. Yeah, I guess. But Ronnie actually... Leaves her with him? Le- well, this is why you never send your kid off to camp, really. I guess not. You know, because, yeah, Come Ronnie... On, sweetheart, we'll go in the back room. You never know what you find in the, in, you know, in the stock room. Yeah, in the stock room. Yeah. Oh. And, um, because Ronnie goes off to get a telephone call and leaves her yeah, there with him. Yeah, yeah. And the guy's just totally perverted and got his arm around her. And meanwhile, Ronnie's going out kind of like, Ronnie's bitch. Ronnie thinks everybody's all great. Well, yeah, isn't he ripped? Oh, no, not Ronnie. Um, or who? Ricky. Ricky. He, he, he sticks up for, uh, his family, Angela. man. It's like a sister. But, and he's, he's. A smaller kid in here, but he take he takes care of everybody. He takes no yeah. crap from nobody. I like the kid. Exactly. And he comes over to Meg's table. Hey, where's Angela? Oh, she went in the back. They're trying to find her something to eat. Everybody's being mean. So, oh, no. oh my God! Look at this. He takes her in the back room with all the dry goods. He starts yeah undoing his flying. He, oh God! Lucky for him, Ricky comes in. Yes. What are you doing? Because he he tells Angela. He says. You see anything you like? I yeah. think I got something you like. And he starts on... And he tells that kid, you're not going to say nothing. You didn't see nothing. And he punches the... First thing I would do would be like, pervert just tried to rape yeah. my cousin. Nowadays, that would happen. I would think. Well, you know what? Not know, even nowadays. You know, yeah. But 83, yeah. Oh. I mean, you know, and Mel's... Mel's really, two feet away. Mel's, he comes out, he sees him buckling his belt. What's going on? He's, oh, I guess I scared him. Yeah. WTF! Yeah. <laughs> well, well, Mel does look at him like, you know, yeah. he, he, he knew something was off. Oh, look, but... they got the black guy shucking the corn. <laughs> hey, Bud and Lou shuck corn, too. I know. But, yeah. anyway, Ted. They made what, Ted do all the hard work. What is with the frickin' five-foot-tall Oh, because you got to boil the corn, man. Look, at you got to feed, like, how many campers are at this place? I don't, I don't care, how, but you would make Wait, it wide. six at a time? You would, a ma- <laughs> you would make it wide, not five feet tall. What if they You're all float? Wrong. You're not if wrong. Yeah, I know. If What if they're floating? You've got three feet of wasted space. I right? Didn't, I didn't think about it quite like that. <laughs> that just doesn't... It, it makes se- sense for the scene, maybe, a little. I, I don't know. N- well, maybe. anyway, yeah, Arnie's yeah. climbing up there. Uh, ben leaves. He's done shucking corn for the day. And then you get there. And um, he's going to put some salt in there. You know, salt the water, no salt. You know, ah, son of a bitch. Just throws the damn thing on the floor. Yes. And then just like the first Friday the 13th, as, as Arnie leaves, we see the killer... But from the killer's point of view, perspective. Just like the first Friday the Thirteenth. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, he comes out there, and you know, you can tell the killer's hidden behind the counter there. Mm-hmm. And yeah, you know he's going to get his. And you automatically say right now, okay, yeah, that girl's going to kill his ass. This look, is what it's all about. Look how dirty the rags and the glove is. Oh, in, in this the whole back. kitchen is filthy. Like you were saying, there's the fly strips hanging up there. It looks like it hasn't been cleaned since. Look at his pants right there. It looks like oh. he's been sitting in the mud. It looks like. Shit I'm just shitting in the mud. its way through it. Oh, look, she pushes him forward. Or he she? Pushes him. Who? Well, I'm assuming it's, it's she at yeah. this point. Isn't that what you figured at this point? I wasn't sure what to know. No, to, to, but then I would been, look at the at the hands. You could tell it was a kid's hand. See, like right there. But it doesn't look a girl's hands. No. Uh, and, and so another, that's what got me thinking. Okay, it's not a, it's not her. Even you didn't notice in another that. scene though that it looked like a man's hand. It did. Well, that's what I'm saying. It looks like you know male hands. Yeah. Maybe a teenager, not like so, a full grown man. Yeah. So who knows really at yeah. this point? Ben, you know? help me, help me. Yeah. And oh, Knox Arnie. I think Arnie. That's what we're calling him anyway. About with a that fifty huge, gallon drum of, of boiling, boiling water. water. Now, I think he would be... There's some cool makeup effects here. Yeah. Some when, bubbling coming up. Because at first and... you just see his scalded hands up there and Ben comes in. And, like, and for some reason he doesn't have pants on anymore. And Sorry about the dog, guys. And he's like, what in the hell hey, happened here? But look, if, you watch, if you're watching it with us, you can see the, the blisters. They, they put They're popping airbags out. or something in yeah. there. And the blisters are starting to and, Dar- and Darth Vader's trying to bring him back. Yeah. He's going... I find your lack of faith disturbing. Yes. Oh, but yeah, he's he's all manner of that stuff. But yeah, he's he's on the he's on the gurney. Yeah, they got him all gauzed up. And he's living yet. 
Oh yeah, but man, but burns, I don't... burns are the worst, man. As far as like oh. pain and stuff like that. Fort Edwards they even, and Hudson Falls on the back of the jacket of the working your medical. Or... I can tell you, man, burns are the worst. That's that really. Well, hurts. that pain don't go away, man. I mean, you know, well, no matter what you take, really, well, right? You, you, they, they, they almost have to sedate you, you know, depending on how bad the burns are. It's, it's comatose, really yeah. bad. Oh. Your nerves are exposed and on fire and exposed. And there's the muscle-bound Steve Perry. To the rhythm oh, of the shit. night. Hold on. Hold on. Ronnie's there. Oh, there's Mel. He's Mel's going dealing to already. care of Angela. <laughs> He's already saying, all right, so now can we just speed this up? Right here, look at Right off to the side, you can see the fly traps. Oh, God. They're covered with flies. They should be changed already. Oh, they're slapping. The funny part flies. is, and I'm sure you have too, when I was six or seven, Mm-hmm. We had those up in the house. Mm-hmm. I think it was a thing in the 70s. 70s, and, 80s, yeah. You know, everybody didn't have air conditioning. Yeah. and the, the screens. And it was and, a popular yeah. thing to have. So disgusting. Oh, my God, yeah. I, you know, sometimes they would drop off and, and oh. So he tells um, Look at all Dar- Darth happened. Vader here, you know, we don't got to tell the campers about this. They don't need to know about this. And so now he's going to make, you know, Ben here, the HNIC, and... Hmm. Uh, He's going to get an extra 50 bucks a week. Can't say no to that. And he's like, and all your other boys here, they're going to get an extra $15. And they're like, oh, yeah. He's you like, just on one thing, condition, man. you know, you keep them quiet. You know, if they ask anything, Arnie, he found a job somewhere says, else. Don't worry, I've got them under control. As you wish. <laughs> and the guy's okay. in the back are going, yeah, yeah, we get there's, some more. There's the, there's the blacks and the, and the Mexicans that they got working there. And... <laughs> I mean, you don't see any white guys working in the kitchen. You know, oh, the so, hillbilly, the yeah. dirty hillbilly. I mean, mm-hmm. it, it's so terrible. No, you, I, no. You put the stereo- Mexicans and the hillbillies. The, the, in the stereotypes kitchen. are awful. It's yeah, so horrible. And Mel's got this weird. His character is unique in this. Look at he's him. almost like a Morton Downey Jr. What type. girl's going after this? Meg. Who's wanting to jump on this? Meg, I guess. I don't know. I, can you Someone's imagine, into it. I mean, with with that. Baked bean teeth and that nasty cigar breath, and mm-hmm. you want that blowing in your face? No. Like yeah, cigars, cigars. Oh God. But yeah, so then there they, you uh, go. Yeah. He's like, so now get dinner started. Yeah, that's what he tells me. Tell your boys to get dinner started. No. Oh, I love this part. Typical shenanigans. <laughs> go ahead. And I love how the guy's name is Mozart. They're playing a little prank on this new kid, Mozart. He's telling him mind over matter. I don't. He's trying to tell him that if he. Focus is minor, and they got them blindfolded. You won't be able to do a sit up. You won't be able to sit up. Something yeah. like that. And yeah, he's going through this whole speech. And then it's, I think it's the whole only... pack of Goonies are behind him. Oh, yeah, pretty much. Mm-hmm. And except for the very end of the movie, this is like all the nudity we get in the movie right here. We get to see a, a young boy's hairy ass. <laughs> hairy? Like, maybe not even. I, I think it was, yeah, it was, there was no hair and on This hair, goes but... on for about an hour and a half where he's telling them. It's, it's mind over matter. Mind over matter. Mind over matter. And he takes the towel off. He says, sit up! And his face goes right into a kid's ass cheeks. I love it. Yeah, the one thing Ricky does... Oh, he, there you go. There's your boy. Oh! Half shirt. He comes Harry in. Belly. Yes, I don't know who this kid's name is, but... I guess he's the counselor for this camp. Yeah, for I guess each cabin, I think, has got an older person God, in it. Can you tell he's Italian? Oh, my... But Ted... <laughs> He's so what hairy. A, what an awful thing for people to have worn back then. Why did guys wear half shirts? Especially if you've got never did. a very tanned, hairy stomach. Well, there's almost another little short shirt. Yeah, there. he's got a short and shirt. And short jean shorts. So they're playing a ball. It looks like the, the younger kids are playing the older kids. I know I know game. it was a thing in the 80s. Yeah, yeah. And they make a bet here. Oh, you know? yeah. I don't like why he says, you know, a buck a piece. He's like, sounds a little steep. Make it five. Yeah. Wait, Rick, what? Ricky says that. Yeah, Ricky. Ricky's a tough guy, man. He's, yeah. just, you know, he's... Baseball. Look, everyone's getting so into it. Come on! Fucking throw the ball! And they choreograph... I'd be that guy way out there that just doesn't care. Like, whatever. <laughs> well, the, the, one, <laughs> the one kid starts playing with his, like, ColecoVision little football Yeah, I thought he something. was texting! Like, he's texting! He's but texting! It's like, a, it's like a little Coleco... Yeah, you're right, like a little <laughs> boxing <laughs> game. Yeah, was it boxing? Yep, yeah, it was boxing. And, and son of a bitch. This field looks just like the field that I played in when I was a kid. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Come on. Oh, they're all. Look at the. There's the couple with the bandanas on. Oh, you Come got them on. Safe. I think he was freaking out. The though. ball popped out of the mitt. Uh, I guess. So. Safe. 
You are safe, even if you got them in the ball yeah, flies yeah, out. The ball but out. oh my god, the half shirts. But anyways, yeah, it's um. The, the, there's a scene here where uh, is it? Oh Ricky my god! Or something. Ricky catches the ball. Look at him! Oh my god! I know. It's, oh my god! It's not even a half shirt, dude. It comes up right under his tots. I yeah, it's like right at, at nipple line. It is. It is at a man. nipple line. It, it's but there is in the back. There's Mozart playing. Yeah, it's, there's Mozart. That would be me. Yeah, it's a boxing game. Yeah, well, it's weird. I never saw anything like that. I know, I don't either. But watch, man. It's like Mozart. Look, in the time that that ball takes, he drops the game, gets his glove on, and Mofo catches the friggin' ball. Yes, he does. I mean, that's awesome. You would expect it, <laughs> him to have... Oh, and they, they do another great move here with Ricky. Oh, he falls down. He's dead. Mozart's dead. Did you notice that game he was playing looked, ex- it looked like a calculator? Yeah, I don't know how... I'd never seen a game I like had that, little retro handheld game games like that. like that. Like calculator, kind of? Not so much. Not in that shape. More like, you know, rectangular. Okay. You know, but... I mean, hmm. or I should say, you know, more horizontally. Yeah. You know, horizontally. Horizontally. He said whore. Uh, oh, good hit. Good look hit. Look at that catch. Oh, but he caught that. They that was fling a good it, catch. and they ca- Yeah, Ricky. Ricky, man. Yeah. He wasn't even looking. Just put that arm back. And it's like Omar Vizquel. But look how the, the older oh. kids lost... But look how pissed off they are. He's throwing the bat down, and they're like, cool down, man. We'll get him. We'll get him. I don't know how much they actually got, because uh, Paul comes up to Ricky and and tells the gang, he goes, man, we're rich now. I don't know how much, what you guys are going to do with your money, but but I'm thinking of getting a Corvette. Yeah, They're pissed off. I mean, look at them. Are they really that pissed? I guess. Wow. Talk about first world problems. They're the older kids, and the younger kids beat them, and they were taunting them, too. I guess. They, remember, they're like, take that, oh, man. Yeah. You Give them some money. That throws it down, man. Oh, my itch. Look at that kid's like she four. Itches. That's what I'm saying. What is this? Is this the... Oh, I, love, I love Kenny here, man, with his Blue Oyster Cult t-shirt. Yeah, Blue Oyster, Blue Oyster, Oyster Cult. Cult. Shouldn't be tucked in, though. It doesn't look cool, man. Well, you had the kids who tucked so in So this is then. the rec hall. It's just a big cabin where everyone's just written filthy graffiti all over the walls there's a couple of drums and they're like metal drums to throw your garbage in i'm just like is this really i mean i guess this did happen i mean back in the 70s that you would go off the camp and probably some of the campgrounds look like that you know how's he getting his, look at this guy right here this rich kid with his gray slacks and his pink you know he looks like shirt. he should be off to a fancy how is camp. he even not wrinkled i mean is he ironing it he looks like Mr. Rich Kid. Yeah. From like you know, yeah. He doesn't belong here, and he's next. He's he's next to this kid with the stoner shirt. That's right. You know. That would be me, man, with the BOC. Yeah. Love Blue Oyster Cult. Top three favorite bands. But what do they do? They they go up they to go Angela. Angela. And they're like, man, she's kind of sweet. She might be good for skinny. Because they're talking about skinny dipping. Yes, fifteen of the boy. He goes. He goes. What are we gonna do? There's fifteen of us boys and five girls. And five girls. How are we gonna get more? You know, to come yeah, down. Let's there? have a sausage fest. What do you say? And so yeah, they're talking to her a little bit, but she's not saying a word. Like a deaf mute, man. Yeah, she's there's just not a word to say. You know, she just stares at. Him. Oh, here comes Mel with his with his golf pants on, his checkerboard pants. Because because Angela really yeah, and Meg waves at him. I don't know Hi. why. Why is Meg got a thing for oh this guy? I don't get God. it. It's so odd, so weird. Oh, Ricky comes walking in with the biggest cowboy hat I've ever seen. Do you think for one minute you look cool? Someone wrote cocaine on the ball. Cocaine Max. <laughs> cocaine Max went to school here. Or whatever. Look, oh, oh yeah, man. oh, Ricky, right away, man, goes up to... Blue Oyster Cult guy. And he's he's holding... But then they, they all scrapping. pile on. Well, it's because the stoner... His name's Kenny, by the way. Knocks his cowboy hat right off him, man. They go right at it on the... Mel! Does nothing! Well, he's he, just standing there. He's got a problem with Ricky. I don't know if he's got Not a problem yet. now. Not yet. Uh, but he's gonna. And I don't know why he does. I don't know why he's even under suspicion. Mel was, Maybe he is. Maybe he's watching because he's a hothead. Was Mel at the beginning when the, the all went down with that guy that got hit by the thing? Was that Mel on you, the you mean, beach at the very beginning? No. No, that was... No, that's the guy that we see later on. There's a little man oh. on man. Mano y mano. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we get that in this movie too. Oh, there's Paul. He's eyeing up Angela. Well, Angela hasn't spoken to anybody yet. No. 
And which Paul just got sits everybody kind of, which just got everybody worried and suspicious. But and see, he's not putting the moves on her; he's just being nice to her. Yeah, no, he's got. He's, he's, he's like, you know, you, Ricky told me about you know, like what happened to your family. I'm really I'm sorry. I'm a little higher. Yeah. I'm so just I, short. You're taller than me. Uh, but yeah, he's being all nice to her, and then you know, he's not really getting a response out of her. But when he walks away, he says bye. And she says bye to him. So there you go. He's all excited. She spoke to him. She spoke to him yeah. in a language all the wrong. It is. He spoke without speech. Oh, and here's what's funny, man, because this Judy, that hoity-toity chick, she just hates that Hoity-toity. anybody would even talk to this girl. She's got two guys standing there yapping at her, just trying to, you know, yeah, smell her snatch, and and, <laughs> and she's mad that this kid's talking to, to what's her face? What's her nuts? Angela. Yeah, and, and, and Carmen Ragusa comes in and goes, Carmen, Angela, Angela, what's no, up? Carmine. Shirley, <laughs> get over here, girl. Come on, I'm going to go put my half shirt on. Oh, uh, here she goes. Angela's first words to Paul because she likes her. Good, good night. night. And he goes, good night. Yeah, like really. Because, and you, you could tell, I mean, he's nice and he does like her, mm-hmm. but you could tell he's horned up too. He's, he's just, the hormones are kicking in. They're at that age. You know, they're off at camp. When I used to teach, Which, yeah, I swear to God, you don't can do that. smell it. Oh, what? Like, just like from like eighth to 10th grade, just, I swear to God, they give off an odor. The, all those hormones and crap. It, it's, B.O.? It's a palpable odor. B.O.? Ask, ask people who teach kids that age. I'll, they'll tell you. Okay, I you can. Them. It's almost like an odor you can smell. Oh God! Okay, we're in a very um. Yeah. It's it's. Oh, uh, there's Kenny and his boy getting high in the back. It's the war of the yeah. girls versus the boys. Oh, so many white asses. Oh no! They all more get white down asses to, than you could ever see in a movie. They all get down to the lake, and the guys strip down, None and the, the girls, girls go with. All the girls got their arms crossed, right? And are just standing there, making fun of them, pretty much. I'd probably like stand with the chicks and try to pretend to be that sensitive. But guy. if this was another movie, like say it was a Friday the Thirteenth, the girls would be in there with them. Every last one of them, they'd have been good to go without a word to that's, say. That's why this movie's different, and and I kind of dug it a bit. You know what I mean? Because you didn't get to see TNA, you like that better. No, but I thought not. What was going on here? Is that like, another half shirt? Yes. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. He's all stoned. Oh man, we're going to we're in with the bitches, man. Ted, I, I love looking back. He, he kept these. saying, like, where's Lindsay or something like that? Because doesn't he want to take her out on a boat? Can he want to take guy? her out to the boat oh, and out on a canoe. do just what he could do. And, and the for, first He'd thing he get says her is, shorts off and top, but says, do. Don't worry. You can don't. trust me. Right there, you know, you can't trust her. No, no. Well, well yeah. look, she's laying back. And he think you know, in his teenage mind... He's trying to think, you know, how can I get in this girl's pants? How can I, you know, hmm. you know, snatch, 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 gotta get snatched, gotta get snatched. Gotta, I mean, it's all that's going through his mind, like a kid at Halloween. Oh, yeah. And so what does he say? Candy. Hey, you better not put your hand in there. There's lots of snapping turtles and water snakes. And then let's start rocking the boat. I mean, this will turn her on. I know. Right? Hey, may Wait, I... Wait, no, because the boat I, flips over. And now she's pissed at him, yep. and she's going to swim away. He blew it, and he'll never get a chance with her again. And he doesn't understand why, you know, she didn't want to, like, hold her breath under the water. I heard you. And start, you know, I hear you. gargling his marbles. He don't get it. No, that's just like the young, even younger kids who but you are tease the girl. Mm-hmm. And usually it's because they like her, you know. He's teasing you because he likes he should you. Be, and look, now he goes under the under the upturned canoe because, you know, there's a little bit of air in there. And this is what gets me. And okay. he's just, he knows she's swimming away. And he's like, Lindsay! You like all the fog like back on singing. the lake. He just likes the sound of it. Yeah, I like that. He likes the sound of music. And then all the guys are leaving. Look, all their, all their nuts. They're making all kinds of stupid ball jokes. And, yeah. Here, here, shake on this. It's like a gay movie. It's, it's really... Not that there's anything wrong with it. Oh, and they're all playing with themselves. I mean, I got but, uh, better things to do. And uh, <laughs> this is what gets me. Okay, a girl pops up her head. Well, you you say she, it's a we girl. never get to see the person. You could tell it's long it's hair, a dark hair. Yeah, yeah so. but you know, we know who the killer is. But me, every death scene kept confusing me more and more. But so, but 
in most horror movies, who, who the heck gives a but crap? That's, I you guess. know, that's the, the the art of it, I guess, to keep you guessing. You don't know. For right, sure. right. And so, they did do that for me. I, I didn't know until mm-hmm. the end. No, no, you don't. You if know? you haven't seen this movie, you don't quite suspect the ending that you get. No. Um, but yeah, she. You know, the we're assuming it's she, but because we, but you know, they push. Kenny down into the water and yeah, he's gonna get drowned. He ain't gonna make it. Right? He gonna get oh, drowned. And, and all the guys are walking. Oh, Kenny's just being an asshole again. You know, he's a jackass. Hey, the boat's on top of his head though. And look at the mess these these kids made. I know. Tables and chairs out in the middle of the water, and I don't know who this guy is. Evidently, he cleans the stuff up. He works there. Ah, you know what he clean. looks like? He looks like the I, lifeguard. He's even saying, like, "Mel, I'd like to see Mel get his fat ass down here." And, he's know, got a whistle, so he's the lifeguard. Chairs and... He's a lifeguard because he's got the whistle. There's the canoe. Ah, who put this guy there? Ted's there ignoring me today. Well, yeah, you're right. You're right. He's got a whistle because he shows up later on in the pool part when they are throwing yeah. her in the water. Thanks. Ted. Now, how does drowning do that to you? Oh, and, and a snake crawling out of his mouth. And yeah, for effects, they put a snake in. You're his right. Mouth. There were water snakes. He wasn't shitting. See, yep. it was all for nothing. She should have been a little bit more grateful. What's with Grandma over here carrying the body away? Hey, I'm 75. I'm still ambulatory services. I, I can't afford to retire yet. <laughs> so I'm carrying bodies. <laughs> Mary Lou, you've reached your pension. Ah, uh, you ain't getting me out that quick. Nah, I ain't slowing down. <laughs> Look at Chachi's um, hmm. bodybuilding. Now, there you go. That's not a fake mustache. No, not here. Later on, it is blatantly fake, guys. I think for some reason, they mustache. filmed different scenes, and this guy with the mustache here must shave it in real life. Maybe they had to go back and shoot another scene, and we get yeah. back and... And they just put like but, black but marker on it or you something. You agree with me, right? No, that's not I fake. Because I said later on, it, oh, it's, I said what oh, happened to this guy? It's Groucho Marx fake, like you said. Yeah, it's totally like a black marker. Because Tony right? Danza, there always got to be wearing like you know like a shirt Universal that's bodybuilding eight sizes is too small. It's I mean, it doesn't look like a shirt. It looks like he just put yellow paint all over his. And I don't think I'd send my girl off to a camp that's got a guy like this, uh, even though. He so, seems, he's like the nicest guy there, though. Right. You no, know? no, but... Like, I think he actually gives a toss about these kids. You know what? He's the sympathetic muscle man. So they're trying to figure out, you know, how this could have He's the happened. Incredible Hulk. Probably. And, um, you know, they're saying, oh, it was some kind of freak accident. We don't got to, you know, make a big thing out of this. And even Tony Danza here says, you know, I don't know, man. He, the kid was a pretty damn good swimmer. Yeah, that's know? what he said. Yeah. And there's Mel's like, well, now I've got the unfortunate job of having to tell his parents, you know, with a cigar. And he's just thinking, holy shit. Holy and nowadays, you get one killing, that camp's closed. Yeah, yeah. They continue to play, and right now they're playing volleyball. There's a lot of girls Judy there. Judy has a shirt on that says Judy. Yeah, just so they the boys know who's Judy that's is. Right. You know what I mean? Oh, look, Paul, he comes over. Man. If you build in. up a reputation, you want the boys to know, they that's Judy guess, over there. Man, she's got a rep. She's the one that'll, mm, you know, so yeah. Oh, he's telling, oh, look, Paul shows up. Because, see, all the girls are playing volleyball except Angela. She's sitting out some, for some reason, she doesn't have to play. Right. And, yeah, they start because talking she a little doesn't, bit here. Yeah. And there's Judy, pissed off that anybody's talking to her. Yeah. Well, I guess she's just got, she's the bully, and she's just, she did not like the girl to begin with, and just continues this little bullying throughout this movie, and okay. and brings Megan, Meg, in yeah. to start doing a little bit of bullying. Too. How come we have to play volleyball and she gets she's... to talk to boys? Yeah. <laughs> There's Meg. Okay, I'm going to go put a stop to this bullshit right here. And what's all the other girls doing while they're uh, she's holding that ball? Watching, man. Yeah. Watching. They're waiting, man, because she might try to spike it. Meg's probably the cutest one on here, I think. Yeah, she ain't so bad. She, I, well, I'm trying to think out of the girls. Yeah. And you know who she... She looks like what's-her-name, too. Who, Angela? Yeah, Angela looks like... Um, What's that? Oh, what's her name? You know the girl back then. Uh, the girl she she back played then. in a camp movie too. Oh, she ended up being um, gay too. You know you don't know who I'm talking about. Not a clue. Oh, she was a big name actress back then. She was with Tatum O'Neill and. Um, Christy McNichol. Christy McNichol. Thank you very much, <laughs> sir. Oh, you're 
I'm, I'm like, how does Ted not know? Usually he knows everything. <laughs> you give me because, a second. Okay. I have to think. And then I go back to a camp movie, Poison Ivy, Poison Ivy. Yes. Or, there was, you know, or was it another movie with her in it? I can't remember. But don't she? Christy McNichol. I think there was another, I think Bit. the camp movie had a different name. Wasn't it like Little Darlings or yeah, something? Yeah, Little, Little Darlings Bit? is what it was. Yeah, Little Darlings. Which was a good movie. Yep. It, it was, Tatum O'Neill was in it, Christy McNichol. She was in that show, um, Family. Remember that show, Family? That... The one lady from Sex and the City was in there. I mean, Cattrall? Not her. The one that looked like David Bowie? Yeah. Oh, God. No, okay. We'll pass that on one. that. <laughs> I know who you're talking about. You're <laughs> the one that looks like David Bowie? The one that looks like David Bowie circa 1977. <laughs> Everybody like Ted's tan? He went to the beach. This Shh, God, oh! Burn! Angela gets a kiss from... Yeah, uh, what they have? They had a movie? Yeah. In, was, in the rec area? Yeah. And, so he had, yeah, that's why he went to go see her. He asked if they could sit together at the movie. Yeah, because she goes... Everybody's going to be there. Yeah, he's like, well, I just want to watch it with you. And, yeah. and um, he walks her, asks if he can walk her back to her bunk. And and they sneak off to the side. She's like, where are you taking me? Oh, I want to show you something. He gives her a quick little kiss. And she doesn't really reciprocate it. She, it's more like she's off guard. And, can I have another? And he just dives in and grabs another little, like like he's kissing a corpse, I guess. And, I mean, I, I, if, if everybody knew the very end of this movie, well, yeah, well, it all makes sense in the end, but that's the. But oh, I can't give nothing. There's away that yet. little look at the guy, man. He's wearing his Asia T-shirt. You know, he's got the doors. Yeah, well, Judy came up to Paul because he was yeah. shunned, and basically coming on to him, saying, "You can get some from me if you mm-hmm. want." But anyways, yeah, Ricky's going to do another um, little gag. Can't Poor gag. Mozart, man. They're they're putting a uh, shave cream in his hand. They're going to tickle his nose. I like to put shave cream in one hand and then put their other hand in water. Does that really work? Yeah, because then they'll piss themselves and wake up and wonder how they got shave cream in their hand. <laughs> but does that really work? I don't know. Because I've never tried it, and I, I don't... You know. Whoa, hold up. Oh. When Mozart yes, whacks his face with the shave cream and wakes up... Yes. Motherfucker pulls out a blade! And he starts chasing Ricky around. Yep. And everyone... And... and he doesn't even look scared. You know, Carmine or whatever his name is. Camaragusa. Comes in and says, like, hey, man, what are you doing? I'm taking that knife. You get it back at the end of summer. I mean, was he going to knife him? I. So now I'm thinking it's Mozart He's sticking up people. for... Well, you know what? Because that knife, a little later on, it made me wonder a little bit. And it's not like he puts it where the, he can't get it back. Yeah, I'm going to put it under my well, yeah, you know what? speed he, stick yeah. in my sweatshorts. He just stuck it underneath. Yeah, yeah. But how the... And they all... Just dog pile on Paul for some reason. Well, Ricky hollers at the the counselor and goes, "Come on, man, give him a break." You know, yeah. like, "Okay, here's your blade back." Yeah, right. not your blade. It's a knife, man. I mean, it's a machete. It's it's <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's it's a dagger. It's about a six inch blade. It's probably. a dagger. Four or five inch blade. Dagger in the mouth. Guess who? Burt uh, Reynolds. Yeah, she's getting very uh, He's comical. Like getting close. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he goes, "No, it's me, cute. Ricky." <laughs> Lothi, oh Paul! Yeah, so. Don't you love every time they're sitting together? Judy just comes, you know, like stage left, and, and comes yeah, on. she's right there every single time. She comes in her, she, she comes in the frame. You know who she reminds me of who's in this name? movie? Who's it? For some reason, Punky Brewster, Salil Moon Fry. Yeah, who grew up to be very cute. Yeah, she did. Maybe Except Punky Brewster is a cool show. But doesn't Punky she look Brewster. a little bit like her? I mean, um, Soleil Mo- I, I mean, know. other than the, you know, okay, Soleil Moon Fry. Meg have to come up there, too? Well, now Meg's got to walk up there, too. Because she went up to her and said, she's not swimming. Yeah. But isn't it a free goddamn country? Do you have to swim? Well, and yeah. it's just like, are you going to swim? Are you going to talk to me? Are you going to say anything? <laughs> And she just, you know, Angela just sits there and stares at her. Paul's got to scram because he ain't supposed to be where the girls are swimming, so he takes off. But this Meg I here, man, the... she, she's about to go completely shit show on her. Yeah. Because she won't talk. She's got her shirt tied on. So the... I guess now you right know how to get on Meg's room. nerves. I guess. Oh, my gosh. She starts Look at her. shaking her like, you know. And, and um, Steve Ryan. Perry comes up. Steve know, Perry. The muscle-bound <laughs> Steve Perry. Oh, oh, shit. Yo, Meg, man. What are you doing? Oh. Get me! You're gonna see me in my bunk later. You in trouble? You Get up to the bunk. God, he's got bigger oh, yeah. boobs than some chicks I've seen. I was gonna say the the chest muscles. I mean, this dude's really pounding it out. Him. Oh God, yeah. yeah. They're, they're so you know. The I chicks mean, really can, like that. My it. wife hates it, but I can do that. 
Let's well, see. yeah, but you're taking your hand. And... No, here. There we go. Take your shirt off and do it. Show them. Maybe next time. Is your wife like that? It's like when you pop you. Pop it, pop it. Pop well, it. what I do is I... Do you, uh, can I, like, throw raisins at it and you <laughs> pop them, knock them away? <laughs> I'll put uh, eggs in there to get the yolk out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. After Excellent. it's been boiled. Yeah. And I go... <laughs> Are you doing hard boiled? Yeah. Squish the egg whites. <laughs> yeah. Right, make some egg sad. You want the yolk? <laughs> just the yellow part. You know? just, just, <laughs> just the yellow parts. <laughs> I'll take the yellow parts and bounce them off your chest. <laughs> oh, no. what's going down over here? Oh, oh no. Judy's now making fun of Angela because she doesn't take a shower when any of the other girls take a shower. And the other girl in the back who's supposedly the complaint department stands up for her and says, she can take a shower whenever she damn well pleases. Yeah, leave her alone, you like, bastards. She probably hasn't gone through puberty yet. She probably doesn't have any hair down there. <laughs> That's what she says, yeah. Oh, Judy, oh, this girl. Oh, and, and, and this, the yeah. counselor does slap her to you. Yeah, bitch it's smack. It. Yes, and she deserved it. And she acts like, oh my God, I did something so wrong. Nowadays it would be wrong, but back then I think, you know, it... It wouldn't have been a big deal. I wouldn't have a problem. They get a, out of hand, you slap them, but you know. You know. Oh, wait. Oh, boy. Yeah. Like, this scene what got the me. the hell here? All the counselors, everybody's just letting. Everybody. They're all on these kids on the, the roof, roof having a water balloon fight. Mel is right there. Yeah, he don't care. He's swinging a bat. They're 17 <clears> feet <throat> away. And he. Oh, yeah, they're up on the roof. He's he's worried about kids dying. Yeah, I know. They're up on the roof throwing water balloons. I know. And, and Angela, the blonde haired kid looks like he's like thirteen, and yeah. the others are eighteen. Angela was walking over to see Ricky, and because she's a little upset, and the kids they throw a water balloon right at her chest, get her shirt all wet, and Ricky comes out, and then he's about to go off. Oh, he goes off every time. I mean, at you the top of his lungs. You motherfucker! You get You're gonna get it. I'm gonna get. You. And he's not even doing anything. Why is Mel coming down there and restraining him? Well, he tells them, he's holding them back, and he tells all of them that, to get the heck down from You'll that roof. You get the hell off that roof right now. And he tells Why them, didn't you say he, that half an hour ago? When what does he this? tell them, he, the punishment? He tells them... No canteen for a week. Yeah, and he says, and for you too, for your, for your bad language. Mouth. Yeah, you're doing well. I mean, okay, I can understand having a water balloon fight. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Look Mel in his black socks up to his knees. Oh my god. What does Meg see? God, look at this kid in the blue shorts here. Man, nothing but meat hanging out. Oh my god. You little sons of bitches, you're gonna get me in trouble. Yeah, you know what? On hot days, I couldn't wear shorts like that. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> but I guess what I'm saying is okay, having a water balloon fight's fine, but why the roof? Because the roof. The roof. The roof is Who on thinks fire. This is a good idea? The roof. The roof. That's the roof is on that. fire. On the roof. Mel won't care. You would use water balloons to douse out the flames. I guess, but... That's where they came up with that I song, know. remember? Look at They're all flipping them off. I'm, I'm all looking. I'm looking. Well, yeah, they're all... What are they doing? They were flipping them off. You're back in the, like, thinking our whole audience is, is watching this movie with us. I guess. Remember, look at this guy. We got a ass. lot of people listening. Well, they're supposed to cue the movie up and listen. This is a commentary. The people who listen don't. Know I would that. be bored I... to death to put this on and just listen to people yap about a movie all day. Oh, I wouldn't. You got to put the movie on and cue it up. No, that's what I envision this being. Think about if you're blind. Okay. For the okay. one or two blind people. Who are and going, I know we got who, who can't see the movies, but they get to experience what we're experiencing. Right. So that's what... Well, let me share there. something with them to experience. That guy with the little blue shorts that was on the roof throwing balloons, now he's got to drop a deuce. <laughs> so imagine in your mind him sitting on the toilet. I'm closing my eyes. And he pulls down his shorts, and there ain't no underwear underneath. Oh, God. And he's sitting on the can with a magazine. Mm. And then everyone leaves the cabin because they're going to go play a game of ball. Yeah. And he's going to join them after, after he drops some heat. Yeah. And you see a little stick. Not even a thick stick or anything, just a little <laughs> stick. Like a broom handle, right? Flo go in the door handles to keep so he can't get out. Yeah, he's not And weird. then, literally like six milliseconds later, a knife on the outside of the cabin is cutting the screen. It looks like the same knife that Mozart pulled out. And then you see a stick with a big, uh, what is it, a hornet's nest? Yeah, hornets or bees, whatever. Shaking it in there. And this guy's freaking out. 
I would be too. I, you know, if I noticed that that window was sliced, I'd be getting out that way. And there you get, uh, go again. It was the knife. So who had access and knew where that knife was? Man. But so the, you everybody know. in that cabin. So he's. Bringing, I'm not saying it's the same because it did look like a bigger knife, but I mean, okay, you know, right. maybe a little bit of a bigger knife. Okay, maybe, yeah, you could be right too. But a pretty big knife. He breaks it open, falls to the floor, and what gets me is that little hornet's nest or bee's nest or whatever wow, it has about eight billion. Yeah, it has a big hornets in there. And it look a, at this. Great effects, but cool. you think it's really going to do this in a matter of a minute? I have no idea, but this no. kid's arms and and oh, torso he's, are he's, all messed up. Oh, he's dead already. And oh my god, I'm just trying to. How that actor kept all those hornets on his face, I don't know. <laughs> I'm kidding. You can tell. It's <laughs> yeah, fake uh -oh. fake torso. Mel is not happy now. Well, he doesn't know about that murder yet, does? Oh yes, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm ruined. And look, Ronnie, I'm freaking ruined. No what? one's gonna come to me. Wait what? a minute. Is that a bust of Ronnie <laughs> in the background there? No, <laughs> it looks like some Indian, like some I think it's a bust. people. I think it's a bust. You ever wonder, you know how those statues, they call it a bust? Yeah. Why does it end right before the part that it's named after? <laughs> <laughs> that is very... <laughs> There's no bust in it at all. Let me let me write that. <laughs> You're gonna check time, it out. Time stamp. No, because that's that's perfect. I gotta right. get. I gotta chop that off there. All right. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> that was perfect. I love that. <laughs> that there's just yeah. I never even yeah. That's weird. It but, does. It stops right before the part they named it. But anyways, uh, yeah. And, and I noticed in there. And I know we're noticing the weirdest things, you guys. But back, you know, when you go to these. 70s and early 80s like and we're talking about these guys with short shorts and cut off shirts and stuff like that like like ronnie was wearing sweatpants in there but right. you could tell he did not have underwear probably no, on no. and you could see the whole shape of his penis and ball set yep. and you could see that in most of the guys in here i guess like they're not wearing underwear they're just like I'm, shorts. I'm, I'm wondering about the orientation of the filmmakers you know i that's what i was, <laughs> I was just about ready to say that uh, but, yeah, so Angela's outside. Yeah, I guess she and Paul are supposed to meet here at night and, what, go down to the beach or something like that? Um, is that what... I think so. Was yeah, she was looking for him, so they hold hands. And look at there. No, did that happen yet? <clears throat> no, I did think that's know? where they're going to go. Aren't they going to go down to the beach? You know, just walk along the beach a little bit, maybe? Oh, yeah, okay, you're yeah, right. Yeah, that. this is they're... sweet, man. This is young love, young, innocent love. Yes, and from here to eternity, they actually required, acquired the soundtrack yeah, for, for oh, this absolutely. part. Look oh. how that she even, she's opening up a little bit. She's getting playful. They have a little kiss, and she trips them, and, you know. Fast as fast can be, you'll never mm -hmm. catch me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah Leprechaun? Yeah. I look, they fall in the oh, sand and they're having a little yeah. kiss. But look, he immediately stampedes towards the, the buttons on her blouse. He's, oh, come on. Andrew. Yeah, well, he's, I'm not doing anything. He's going about it all the wrong but, way. Dude. Yeah, and then she just starts that. staring off. Because she's there's mentally something wrong there and we'll come to find oh, out. Yeah, but man. Oh, oh, my God. What's here's this? the flashback. What is this? Two, this comes out of left the field. Two, yeah. Like, she, pop right in the middle here. She has a flashback of... of her and her brother yes. watching her dad and that guy from the other beginning of the movie caressing each other in bed. Yeah, evidently it was gay. And, and they're like, laughing about it. Like, <laughs> daddy and Uncle Bob are, you know. So and and, they, and they get a glimpse of uh, Angela and her brother on the, yeah, well. like sitting in a bed. and It's, it's almost like he's pointing at her. He's well, not, not Angela. but it, well, well, whatever. Two kids are in a bed. I think around. this is supposed to be her and her brother. And it's or her like, brother and her, yeah, okay. her and her brother, and uh, he's supposed to be. Like, oh, they, they, like yeah, he's yeah, making yeah. a move to like touch her on the boob or something, in an innocent sort of way. No, you guys are. Way, I, I, I'm looking confused because I'm trying to get when you this guys is what she's when you see the ending, you, you'll know what I'm talking about right. here. Because but that's so there's a big this twist. Is what the memories that she's experiencing while Paul's trying to unbutton her blouse, and then right. she just finally. Wakes up out of it. We're back on the beach. He's like, no! And, and pulls away and runs away. And yeah. He's pissed. Like, man! Why do you have to go back to the bunk and... Oh, my lordy. He got blue balls. I guess. I got blue balls. Oh, here we go. You got blue balls. Everybody got the blue balls. Everybody got the blue balls. You ever try yeah. using that excuse on a chick, man, when she's not finishing the job? Like, yeah. Oh, man, you know, my nuts are going to hurt. 
<laughs> You're causing me physical pain, did baby. You, did you ever have that happen? No, nah, man. Chick's always complete with me. You kidding? I don't allow that. When I was young. BDT, don't take that. Got personal information. Is, but a lot of... Uh, Kissing and stuff. You know how kids, when you're mm-hmm. you're a teenager, that goes on. It went on for like an hour. No man, if they, if they came up, they're gonna like, finish the job. We were, we were young, but mm-hmm. you know, a lot of that was going on. And I, after an hour of that, I got up. Yeah, it hurt for like two days. Man. But anyways, there here we go. go. <laughs> well, you should have just took care of business, and you felt a lot better. Still, man. Blow it the hell out. It grows back. It was a longer story than that. I I condensed it. Paint the walls. <laughs> <laughs> so what are they doing now? They're, they're playing Capture the Flag. Yes. And after they spend four hours explaining the rules of Capture the Flag, <laughs> they start yeah. playing Capture the Flag. And uh, Capture Angela, the again, is not participating. She's walking down a deserted country road by the woods. A deserted <laughs> country road. And what is this? Ricky comes up. I got this great idea Damn to Capture Howard. the Flag. Which I don't remember. Going back to home, down highway, home to road, take but me home. Angela takes Angela and a Ricky little bit on the country road, take me home, Sneaking to the woods, to the flag, mountain high, what are we singing? Mountain high, John This has Lander. nothing to do with sleepaway camp. It's better than sleepaway But we're going home, Ooh. home to the stone. I wonder what people really think. Maybe they tune out at this point when we go off into the. If if anybody's here listening, I think it's when people tune in. Maybe comment below and tell me. Yeah, please stop. No one's singing. even listening this far. They just watch the first few minutes. And then they, <laughs> someone will post a nice comment or something, and yeah, no one's watching us. Who's watching this for an hour? <laughs> Who's listening to it for an hour? I know some are. Time Lord, I, he he's talking. That's my boy, man. That's he's, my boy. He's talked about stuff towards the end, right. which tells you you know he's at least getting towards him, the man. end and stuff. But that's my brother um, across the sea. Yeah, yeah. But, okay, so what's what happening here? What is this there? happy horse shit, man? So, Ricky's got this idea that, hey, happy I'll horse. sneak out to go after the flag, or, or you sneak out and go after the flag. When they're coming after you, I'll sneak out and grab it, you know? And while they're in the woods, you know, Judy's using this excuse to kind of put the moves on Paul. Judy, Judy, right? Judy, right, Judy. She's, she's going to show that, you know, she's the, the head yeah. slut in, in this cabin. And, and she gets, a, she just basically, yeah, she's putting him in a position. She's just not leaving him alone. Well, the, the, and the, the, he the, finally gives her a little kiss, and there, you know, Angela sees it happen and, and the, runs and, away. And the deleted, and she starts crying at the end because he tells. Well, her yeah, because Ricky you know, tells her, you know, you're a real bitch. You know, yeah. you're, you're, you're just trash. You but know? The, 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 yeah, you want me. The current Criterion edition, they put the deleted scenes oh in. Oh my god, crazy. Where um, they they actually put a little bit of glue on the side of her mouth, oh, yeah? right here, yeah. to, as Angela was coming up, just so that. To make it seem like something happened. Wow. And she blames, Angela blames uh, Paul through the rest of the movie. Well, yeah. She's mad at him. Look, she's not even going to forgive him. He's begging her for forgiveness. That's why they condensed the movie down to an hour and 23. It was, a, it was originally like an hour, 40 minute they movie. They could have condensed it a little bit more. You think? Mm. I think it was just just the right amount. I, I didn't need four hours. Just the Look, right there amount. There it is again, I told you. Paul's oh. begging for forgiveness from Angela. And she as soon comes as he's sitting right here, comes Judy off. Director goes, side. enter from the left. Yep. And he's like, Paul, is she really that much of a prude like you said? You remember you said and she's that, wearing right? a she's wearing a two-piece here, too, and she's what? she's tightening up the gut as best she can. Yeah, you can tell. You she's can going, tell that. oh, I'm rock she's hard. She's sucking that in. I'm rock there. hard. Look at her being all bitchy to her. Oh, she don't give her the time of day. That's one thing Angela don't do. She's right. right. She gets into her... Man, she gets that thousand yard stare going. Like, yeah. Oh, look at those eyes. Yeah. C-Y-C-O. Psycho. And Brian Bloom comes and he's got his shirt off. And, and Mel... This is where Mel Yo, starts hey, Ricky. To... I ain't had a chance to talk to you. It's been so busy around here. Yeah. How's your summer going? Yeah, you're getting quite a tan there, boy. Yeah. Is that What's a third up? nipple in the middle yeah. of your chest there? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Mel, that's a scar from my mother when I was young. Just knock it off, Damn, man. used to put cigars out on my chest. Mm. And, and, yeah, you know, <laughs> so we cut between uh, Judy trying to give the business to Angela. Angela's just staring at her. And but uh, and Judy's got an odd shape to her. A little it's, bit. It's odd. Look, look, she hasn't blinked once this whole movie. She hasn't. Oh, and it, oh here's Meg again. It's like, yep. oh, God. 
Does, I mean, Do you, you want to go swimming, you little bitch? Doesn't somebody come to her rescue? Well, Meg, the counselor, who's supposed to That's be looking out right. for these kids, picks her picks up. Angela up and is going to throw her in, in, in the lake. And, and Angela's sort of kind of fighting is... a little bit. And that's what's Angela's got. Now, were this... they, I'm sorry. Were, were Mel and Ricky this close to the grass before? It didn't seem like yeah, it, but who, I don't know. Who knows? They moved them in the video. But look frame. at this crap. Ricky sees what they're doing to his cousin. Mel's right there, not paying no attention to the kid screaming. Well, Mel goes, she needs to learn a lesson. You go to a rescue torch. I know it's you, you little son of a bitch. You're killing everybody. He's blaming the kid. He's blaming him everybody. being the killer. Yeah, yeah. But they, yeah, they throw in. What if the kid could. Well, this and, is terrible. And this is her fear. That's why she don't go in the exactly. water. Exactly. Because, because of what, of what happened. happened. Yeah, her dad died at that boating yeah, accident. Man, you so. know, Tony Danza comes over there. Mel, what are you doing? What are you doing to the kids, man? Yeah. They throw her in the water. The lifeguard comes to get her. And, and yeah, Ricky's she, there. She paddled back, you know. Meg's got her shirt unbuttoned, too, now. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't before. Yeah, you should have unbuttoned the pants. I'm yeah. a lifeguard, you know. And the like, you're a couple of peckerheads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, us white people, we get the best burns on people, right? Yeah, he goes. You guys are a couple of peckerheads. <laughs> you guys are peepees. All right, you son of a <laughs> bitch, you peckerheads. Gosh darn you, you guys are peepees. Get yeah. out of here. We can't rip on nobody. We sound so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> yeah. your, your mama's so fat she can't um, uh, get on the, the the scale. I told somebody your mama's so fat when she. Or, no, I said your mama's so black when me. she takes a bath. She makes tea. <laughs> that's an old joke an but it's oldie, a goodie it's an oldie but a goodie so here's all the counselors hanging out at night discussing what's going to be going down some people are on duty the some people are out off at night. duty the kids hang out at night he tells I don't know what's the this guy's hanging out with the, with the bike motorcycle and he tells him you gotta go take the little bastards out for camping tonight out in the middle of the freaking yeah I woods. don't know he's He's, it's yeah. dark out. Would you be going to take the kids out at when it's dark out into the woods to go camping? Sorry, it's on the list here. List here, you got to do it. Wouldn't you go out at least when it's you know a little bit daylight to go find a oh, safe yeah. spot? Yeah, not like late at night. You it's know? it's eleven thirty at night. But Meg's he goes, got the night off. Yes, Meg's got the night off. He's like, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna get myself a date. I gotta talk to Mel for a minute. Oh, this is so disturbing. This is disgusting. It is. Mel, you remember when you said you had that you, you, that dinner invitation? Yeah. And, and you know, he, he's looking down at his thing. And, and then it's like, all of a sudden, what? Yeah, about 9.30 tonight at my place. And is that ro- He looks like a, like, he looks like Caesar from the Planet of the Apes. Oh, he's got those big, wet lips. See him? And look, he's got his cigar in his hand. and Caesar! Is he not even thinking he could go to jail? Yeah, because, I mean, she's supposed well, I mean, to be under you know, Come on, when, you, when there's tang, you got to get the tang. Mm. I mean. And she's all, I've got a date tonight. Oh, uh, really? With who? Oh, it's a secret. It's a secret. And Judy shakes her head. Mm-hmm. And look, you there, go, there, girl. 75 girls in line for the shower. And I she, don't suppose any of you would let me go first. And they just, all these stoner girls turn around, look at her, and yeah. you know. Hey, is the water still on the cabin next door? Yeah, I think so. And none of the other girls had the idea of going over there for a shower. I know. It's just, the next one's, like, vacant. Nobody's there. Right. Oh, that's so stupid. We'll be watching Angela, watching I, I was, keep trying to think of what that sign said, too. It said something boy. I don't know. I don't know. if it, Maybe poor boy. But she, we don't how is she it. washing? <laughs> she's just taking the bar so, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, Like, she's watching washing each individual skin cell. I like, see there, you can't tell... The killer. You see what the big a, shadow of the killer. Use a washcloth, bitch. Clean your ass. <laughs> mm-hmm. I got some mm-hmm. loofah. I got some loofah. And look, Ooh. the screen cuts right below where you'd see any tots. And just to... I know. Well, she got some VO5 Oh, there. and here we go. The knife right through the shower. What horrible acting here. And all the way down. Because ah! it keeps cutting from the knife <laughs> cutting down and you see blood squirting. And every time side. they do that, she goes, ah. ah. But you don't see any blood on the other side where, where no. Meg is at. No. And then she's, oh, yep. See, now that looks like a male hand right there. Exactly. Look, that's a, rinse that knife off. That's, yeah, that's a man's hand. Rinse it. Rinse that's it. a man's hand. A man hand. She had man hands. Yeah. <laughs> Seinfeld. Oh, look, at least they turned the water off. You know, you don't want to waste water. Fingerprints, yeah. You know. Yeah. Could be anybody. Wet there. surface. I don't think anything will stick. Ooh. Oh. Hey. 
Yeah, so so he's taking them out. You know, it's bedtime, so it's like, all right, yeah, all right, campers, time to go camping. Let's find a goddamn clearing. <laughs> but isn't it like nine at nine o'clock at night? It's got to be at least. Yeah, all right, Benji, you go get some firewood. I'm gonna keep the only flashlight right here. Yeah. <laughs> and he's the kids in the dark. Oh, There's cougars wow. and raccoons and cougars. killers and cougars and <laughs> rogues and raccoons. scoundrels of the night and water snakes and oh, yeah mummies and mummies. <laughs> <There's> mummies. <laughs> Doesn't a mummy come walking? Bubba Hotep comes yeah. walking out of the hey mm-hmm. suck your soul right out your ass. <laughs> Oh god! Oh, it's great. Also, oh, what's going on here? Is there like, a, is there a little shindig tonight or something? And they're just hanging out at the oh, mess hall. Man, look, they're hanging out at the mess hall. There's Paul. He's trying to apologize to her again. Yeah, at least he's. And he's, I believe he's, him. He's, I think he's. I didn't think he really wanted to kiss her. You know, he was just sincere. He even and, said, "You know, I was just mad. I was pissed off. She was there. She was throwing herself at me. I just kissed her, and yeah. I didn't really like it. You know." And, yeah, I mean, how many times that happened to you when you had to apologize for you it? Know, you know, I don't apologize, man. I, I can get some, I get some, you know, <laughs> whatever. A little loving and squeezing. I can't get comfortable on this chair yeah. at all. Yeah, try sitting on this little cushion I got. Yeah. <laughs> at least you've got a chair. <laughs> I know, poor I used to just have a stool. <laughs> <laughs> no back to it. I made he used ten. to give me like an old folding chair. <laughs> he had this nice ass thing. What? No, I didn't. <laughs> A folding chair. God, when we started off, we just had a board of wood and, a, and two folding chairs and a microphone. Well, we, we No, we had this, the very first one. Did we sit on Is this what yes. we sat on? But we both sat on it together. Oh, yes, yes. For the Island of Lost Souls. So, Island yeah. of Lost Souls, audio only. Yes. So what did she say um, to him? Did she say anything to him? I, well, that's when she says, meet me by the lake at such and such time. At such and such a time. Meet me by and the he lake goes, tonight. You got it. Yeah, he thinks and it's over dramatic some now, huh? tone, and uh, the people camping. Oh God! The one kid gets up and starts complaining and says, "I need to go home. I'm cold. I want to go back. And I'm freezing. It's summertime. How are you cold? I don't know. But why they even do this? I've is never been me. cold in my life. I say it all the time. I know, but this kid's being a little bitch. So next cold. winter, we're going we're gonna to film you next this winter uh, sitting in the snow. Hey. That's what I do. I lay in there and make the snow angels. But uh, for like an hour, you will do the show. I'll videotape yeah. you sitting outside in the snow I'll with a mic. Oh, yeah. And I'll be in here. No coat. And we'll see how long. I'll just wear my Carbon X uh, Long Johns. The <laughs> Carbon X Long Johns. Th- those things trap your heat in. You will not feel a thing. Any Anything that's not exposed, you'll feel nothing. What the heck do you need that for? It's just great. Like if you got to go out and shovel when it's a blizzard or okay. something like that. It's awesome. Okay, what what happens here though? I know that uh, we, the we killer... get the point of view of the killer again, and uh, the killer notices a hatchet because remember he was scolding the the counselor was scolding but see, one there's, of the kids. There's like three kids left there. Right? Some of them want to go back. Some of them are fast asleep. So he's going to take the ones back who want to go back. They're going to go back to the car. He's going to drive them back. Stupidly leaving these other kids. Yeah, and I'll talk about that. Alone. I'll talk about that when I see it because I, I was kind of curious about that. So but, this is what uh, Mel's wearing for the big date with Meg. Yeah, his green pants his, and his yellow you know, jacket, his, his, his green slacks. He goes into the canteen there. And says, hey, any of you guys seen Meg? I'm looking for. Probably got cigar breath because he always got. Oh, you know he does. Yeah, he's, Look, he's so, got his white. I'm surprised he doesn't have spats on. Spats. Oh, who's this? I don't know who this kid is, but he's making out with Judy. And Judy gets mad and goes, oh, don't be so wet. Yeah, your kisses are so wet. Your kisses are so wet. Sorry. Yeah. And like, gets bitch, you take what I give you. So Mel's coming, and he he gets underneath the bed, and she's yep. like reading in the dark. Mm-hmm. And he goes, hey, have you seen, uh, hey. hey, Judy. Hey, you're looking good there. You see yeah, your girlfriend you know, Meg anywhere. Yeah, she's not here, so what's she like, doing? She went to go take a shower next door at the, you know, the empty cabin. Mm-hmm. It was a little while ago. Huh. All right. He's like, hey, how come you're not down at the rec hall? Oh, I just I I wasn't feeling so good. I wanted to read. Yeah. You know, it's going to mess up your eyes. <laughs> That's what Reading in the dark like that. Yeah. Like he doesn't know what's going on. Hmm. He knows some hanky And then all of a sudden, yeah, he's leaving, and the kid pops up. He's leaving? All of a sudden, he's not good to go? He's like, no, oh, we don't want to get caught. Georgia. If you got a chance to tap it, do you care about getting caught? 
No, I don't no, know. I don't no. know why this kid got up and no. left. He was probably thinking of Steve and John and what a wuss puss. He man. goes, they're all down there in their shorts by the river. Um, yeah, I like, think he wants to go have another sausage fest and yeah. skinny dip with his buddies. Yeah, he goes, Judy, you're just not doing it for me. She's not, man. Look at oh, look at her, man. She is ticked off. She is pissed. See, you notice that man? Chicks can they can they can turn down a guy anytime, get them all revved up, and then leave. you do that to a girl, hmm. or you do that to your wife. Oh man. They can't take it. They don't know how to deal with that. Really? You want to blow your woman's mind? <laughs> Get her all revved up. Yeah. And then just walk away. Oh, man. Show her who's walk got away, the power. Walk away, 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 walk like away. I have no hand. You have no hand. <laughs> you got to have the upper hand. You got to have hand. You got to have hand. Well, you're going to need it. Look at all the... Mel, he's oh. checking out that cabin where... Uh, where Meg went to go shower. Look and at all uh, the writing on the panel. The wood fortunately paneling. for him, Meg picks that exact moment to fall <laughs> I was to say that. out of the shower. Yeah, there's a big, long... It looks like it went right through her spine there. Oh, and Lisa was here. No blood, really, anywhere, though. No, not much. And He's like, that son of a... Look, he's going like this. That son <laughs> of a bitch, Ricky. <laughs> Ricky did this. I'm going to get that little son of a bitch. Yeah. He's, he's not going to do this again. He's blaming it on Ricky. My but, God. but Ted, the funniest part, yes, was <laughs> she stood there that whole time in that shower dead. Well, you know, until he shifted the boards when he walked I in. Guess. I guess. And she, she falls right face first. He doesn't even, like, pick her up or wrap her body back up. Oh, because he's on a mission. He's, leaves he's, her laying there. He's going to get Ricky, man. He's, he's and like, evidently Ricky Judy this. thinks you're curling my hair in the middle of the night is, is kind of a cool thing. <laughs> Just curling this little strand. Yeah, right bed to bedtime is when I curl my hair. Now, right there, I'm watching this movie. I'm like, that's Ricky. That's Ricky. Yeah. That looks just like Ricky. Yeah. yeah it, that, that's what I. Th- that's what I figured the movie's trying to tell I mean, me. If okay, you pa- Ricky's been doing if it. If you now. pause it, it is very hard to tell. Right. And they do that on purpose, I think, mm-hmm. to create some doubt. But then it started to make sense. Okay, everybody that's picking on his cousin, Ricky's taken care of now, yeah. right? Okay. And I kept thinking it looks like a guy's hand and all that. Mm-hmm. And she's like, oh, it's you? What, what do you, you want? want? And then, <laughs> pow, he tall chocks her right in the face. Yeah. Knocks her down. Punches her in the face. Yeah. And, um, and I got to admit, I kind of like that scene. Oh, it's you? Pow. And she's going to get it now. Too. But she's... She's ri- re- wriggling, what, wiggling oh, around in like, like some it's a little orgasmic out. motion. Well, you know, he knocked her on the head and she's, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, but it's this. Oh, my head. It sounded she's probably all dizzy and stuff. And you see the, the curling iron, the hot curling iron. Coming down on the body. Moving its way and down and then it opens up. And then for some reason they put a pillow on top of it and you don't get to really see what's going down yeah don't know what the, oh, hands, the hands go ah i'm not gonna a, try to remove the hot shit from my face no. and put my hands up like this and, the, and <laughs> evidently the person holding it down has got so much power with that one hand power hand you know yes but the same thing with the I forget, hand do we even get to see the aftermath of her no, I don't no, even think so. Pushes it back behind, the like under the bed, bed so yeah. nobody would even see her. Because we're coming up to the conclusion here. Are we really? Yes. Because, Already? Yes. Because we're he's coming back and see oh, this the is counselor the point. that took the kids back. He comes back and I couldn't even really make that out too well. Yeah, it looks like all of the the, the sleeping bags are chopped up. Yeah, but, but does I guess that mean the kids were? All I killed? think we're to presume that he that kids all got killed and then. They have to get a close-up of him vomiting. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah. Just what we need. But and, that's weird because it's like... Like they didn't show no chopped up they, body parts or anything right. like that. It's Not like, that I need to see that, but no. it doesn't even look like there's any people laying there. Makes you wonder if, if the kids were killed or, or if the... Evidently, the sleeping bags are all chopped up. Well, the up, sleeping but, bags are dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's enough to get anybody upset. Right. You know, who knows what Mel's going to do now. I mean, you kind of see blood there and stuff, too. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it mm-hmm. happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and Ricky. He, they, they all know Ricky wasn't down at the at the rec center mm-hmm. tonight, you know, because he said he didn't feel good from dinner, you know, yeah. getting the shits or whatever. Yeah. He's begging the counselor guy to let him in because it's all over. But, man, let me go to the canteen and get something to eat. Let me get some chocolate pies and mm-hmm. beef jerky, okay, please? I know he goes down. I love it. He does go down and he grabs a handful of... He comes out with, like, candy bars. Get, what, and, can, is it just like a free-for-all? Can you just grab what you want down I there? guess. That's awesome. And, and the minute he walks in, too, the lights go off. Yeah, I'd grab all the beef jerky I could shove up my ass and... and Go to town. <laughs> Shut up, your ass. <laughs> What's he eating? He looks like a baby root, maybe. 
Adam. Baby Ruth. Baby Ruth. Ruth. Baby. You got Ruth. the roof, roof, baby. Yeah. Oh, God. Who's that, man? Ooh, Mel sees him. That wasn't Mel. That's, uh, that's no? uh, Tony Danza. Oh, that's uh, right. Now, this is Mel right here. Yeah. Hey, Tony Danza's talking to somebody. He's getting some word. What? You're kidding me. What? Look at no, all the that's nice, terrible. Look at a nice little unicorn. Oh, yeah. Paintings. It's like, yeah, people drew pictures of kids. Like five year olds did. Yeah. You know? Oh, man. Look at Mel, man. Mel is going to go completely. Ape shit on War him. of the Planet of the Apes on this yes. guy, man. He's, he knocks him down, and he starts beating him here, but then he's, he's bitch smacking him, but then he starts going, <laughs> Yeah, like, him, like a giant ape. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's beating him like a male silverback. Yes, you would think that <laughs> his ribs and everything would get, like, broken. And, I, uh, yeah, I he mean, is. Look, at he's still yeah. going. You're killing everybody. You're was, messing up my camp. Well, he's a 70 year old man was about ready to get it with Meg. Yeah. You know, he's pissed off, man. Well, I'll tell you what, if beating this kid to death doesn't give him a heart attack, he probably had a shot at, you know, at Meg there, so. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. He don't I get gotcha. to it. So, now, what is, what, what is he here? What, what is, did oh, he hear this some is a noise? great scene. Yeah, he this heard awesome. something. He He's by the archery area. And stands right in front of the bullseye. And he goes, Hey, what, what are you doing there? And the arrow goes right through his neck. That was a cool effect. That, that was, was neat. A cool. That was neat. It was like a... You know what happened there? It was a cut scene. Yeah. And yeah, immediately... Yeah, and really well done. Yeah, very well done. Because you hardly see any movement mm-hmm. of the body. And, and the arrow oh, is God. like right there. Here comes that deputy Here comes, shows yes. up again. And he, this time he's got a black marker mustache. Watch watch this. It's, it's This is the funny. on YouTube, watch this. Yes. And they'll get a real close up here. Yeah, they where, do. Where there's no doubt that 100% about it. Oh, mistake. Yeah. Uh, but he's walking around right now. And it is dark out, so you can get so away with doing? it a little bit. Well, who are they looking for? Uh, who knows? Everybody's, everybody's. But yeah, uh, you know, there's people missing, whatever, and they're they're gonna spread out and look around for them. Yeah. Paul's over at the at the at the the lake area, the beach area. Yeah. He's waiting for his girl to show. He's up. looking for her. Yeah. Where's Angela? She's late. Where's Angela? Angela. Yo, Angela. Where, yeah. Yo, where you at, hey, girl? Yo. Oh, there oh, you there are. She is. There you is. And is you is or oh, is, is you, you in my, my baby? baby? Let's go swimming now. What about our clothes? Take, Take them, them off. off. Oh yeah. I mean, he's like he's, he's Oh no, he, he gets eight. over he gets over anxious about everything a she says. Over anxious, you yes. gotta bring it down a notch, Paul, if you want, you know. Uh yeah. Well, okay, we'll I completely get forget who these people are looking for out in the woods. Um Who's missing? I think because of the kids that were killed. Well, they know there's someone's killing somebody. Were they looking for somebody? Yeah, so I'm not sure. Oh, a power bar. Power bar. bar. Remember those? They don't make those no more, do they? I don't know. But I remember power bars. Oh, my God. That's fake mustache. Oh, my God. Look at the face. Did they get a close up already? No, I don't. Yeah, they're here. here. Okay, here it is. Yeah. And they find uh, Ricky. Ricky all beat to hell, but still alive. Yeah, yeah. But he's got to be bruised. They don't don't try to. As soon as the light gets in his face, he starts coughing. Yeah. Mel didn't kill him yet. He's got blue... Like, you can see they did yeah, black and blue yeah, eyes, the blood got, coming out. They made him look like he got beat up a bit. And they're carrying him out of the woods. They're looking for Ricky. Oh. And a uh, police officer goes running really fast up over to the uh, cabin. Right, because Judy, it's Judy. Oh, the, yeah, Judy. they did find Judy in the cabin Judy's then. Judy's dead. She burned herself. I almost forgot that. Okay, yeah, here we go. Here, here we, we go. Come. Here's the very close-up of the cop. Oh, my God. It is a black, just like Groucho Marx would oh, do. It looks like Mel took his cigar and just... <laughs> oh, my God. How did they think that that, that was the... Look at it from it's the side so view. so bad. You can even see how shiny it is. Oh, my God. It's just like Groucho Marx. Horrible. Oh, my God. So, uh... Ronnie and whoever the other counselor she girl was. She was one of the counselors in, in uh, yeah. Angela's cabin. They end up walking down to the beach, right? Because yeah. they hear they hear something going on. And he's flash, his flashlight goes out. Oh, yeah. But he goes, there, over there. Man, I, I think, think I see something over yeah, there. something Come going on. on down over there. The beach there? Hey, hey, oh, and this... Hey, yo. This reminded me of Let the Right One In a little you bit. Think? Or, yeah, look, you, you know. can see it's Angela... 
and it looks like she's caressing Paul's head. They're they're naked. I'm not sure if I'm gonna show this, but you know, on YouTube. Oh but, um, man, you got to. If I gotta explain it for sure, yeah. I mean, this she's the sitting there. The movie explains. She's it. sitting the there. The movie explains it because now we get a flashback scene. Right, right. And okay. just when I thought I wouldn't have to see this horrible actor again. Yes, Aunt Martha. Aunt Martha's back, and oh look at these beautiful. And this is when. Um, this is after the accident because the child still's got the the head bandages on from the boating accident at the beginning of the film. Yeah, and Aunt Martha's oh look at these pretty dresses and oh I've always and she goes off you know oh my husband left me and you know, I'll never be able to have a little girl but now I can have a little girl and oh I've just thought that would be so nice for Ricky to have a sister and us to have a little girl in the house and. So, she mentions, oh, the name Angela. Isn't that great? Angela, it's Angel. Wouldn't that be a lovely name? And then she says, right, Peter? Yes. And you realize that this a is boy. a boy. Yes, it's a boy. This boy was raised as a girl yes. by this Aunt Martha, this sick, freaking, she's a doctor. But it makes me wonder how, well, I guess even back then, maybe hormones and stuff, because Angela sounds like a girl. Raised her as a girl. You know. And then we come back to reality here. Oh, this is the freakiest scene ever. Angela stands up. We see Paul's severed head. Oh, this is so And we so see weird. the whole full frontal body of a boy. Penis and, and everything. And Angela's she's just, head standing with a knife. But she won't stop that, like, scream ah. in that face. Like, yeah. And you can tell it's just superimposed on there, but... Yeah. I think it... No, no, she's moving a little bit, so... I don't know. It, no, I think you're right. I think and you hear Tony Danza, Oh my God, she's a boy! <laughs> yeah, and, and... And honestly, this end scene is probably the only reason why anybody remembers this movie. Because that is a freaky-ass ending. Oh no, yeah. This you know, is what and I didn't expect it. I did not sure. at all. It's different, it's unique. Yes. It don't mean I want to watch this movie over and over again. But if I knew someone had never seen it, mm -hmm. I'd probably sit there and watch it with them again and say, right. "Yeah, just watch it. It's kind of you know." Yeah, it's kind of. It'll, okay. it'll get you in the end. Yeah, but yeah, it'll that, get you in the end. I watched it in the complete darkness last night. My my wife was stoned to sleep in the chair Same. next to me, yeah. and and I just I was like, "Damn!" I whoa. know. Didn't the, expect it. One of the weirdest scenes, like like uh, like I said, let the right one in. She's. Mm -hmm. she, he, and we're talking more the, the Swedish version. Right, right. Where the they the show, American version right, didn't yeah, really yeah. touch on that. The Swedish version. And what we mean the, is that the girl vampire w was actually a boy that was castrated. A right, long time and, ago. and they showed it for a second, like where you can see And they see don't even mention there. it in the Swedish version. You just see when she takes off that dress. Yeah. You can almost see a little scar down there. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's all you see. That's the only shout out but they the, give to it. Yeah. But in the book, it goes into. I don't know. We're More detail. It goes into actually very. There's a whole flashback sequence where you yeah. find out what happens. But in this, the ending of this, I mean, they really focus in on that for. Yep, you see the whole thing. A little there. while and there. It's uh, hey, yeah. for '83. That had to be pretty shocking. You could Heck see yeah. people in the theater going, "Oh, hot damn, what?" I think you're right. That's. I mean, that's why Sleepaway Camp has got probably the little bit of a cult following. Yeah, and it's it's got and pretty. It's, not high, bad. it's got pretty yeah. high rankings, and I think it's probably just because of the. Twisted, unique ending. It's it certainly. Hey, this is if better it had than been a any lot other of, kind of ending. Yeah. Like if it was just the girl, or yeah. if it was just the boy, or even if it was the just the, the dead boy. brother coming back to life and killing everybody. Yeah. I don't think anybody would give a rat's ass about this. But this was different. True. This, you know, turned it completely upside. Down. It's very atypical yeah. uh, of this, and uh, uh, I certainly like it better than, than many other type of slasher movies. I was going to say this. This is better than quite a few of the Friday the 13th. But anyways. You know, <laughs> you had some really, you had oh. some really funny characters and there's good. some cool 80s stuff. Yeah. yeah just I really like, dug the the time period stuff. and A lot of yeah. what the hell moments. A lot of, yeah. Like I said, <laughs> perverts, bullies, weirdos, was... men in half shirts and short shorts, and the cop with the mustache. That sums up this movie. Yeah, and and you know, you know chicks so. with dicks, I guess. But and that, <laughs> yeah, know? and that. So. But yeah, I mean, that whole backstory—that that's a movie in and of itself. But oh, I don't want to see it because I don't want to see any more Aunt Martha. But um, I know I'm cur I'm curious though with the, how it goes with the next two movies. And there but... are like three sequels to this movie, and I don't think they even really. At least you're know, reading the plot synopsis. Is Angela online. have anything to do with it? She's she, yeah, her characters in all of them, I believe. But I don't think the whole transgender thing really plays much into it. 
So, oh, so. they, they kind of go away from that then. Uh, well, at least read. I've never seen them, of course, but just kind of looking at the, the not synopsis out, of the plots. Uh, it doesn't seem like it kay. plays a big role. Like, I don't think there's a... You know, full frontal scene at the end of each of these movies. So no, well, no, I yeah, I think that, that's, <laughs> I think that shocks out of the way. But um, yeah, so there you go, man. Uh, took on a slasher. Yeah. Sleepaway Camp, nineteen eighty three. I you know, I dug it. Yeah, we were just looking for a movie. And I happened to scroll, and there it was. Like, it okay. was between this and Slumber Party Man. I have a Roku, and it was on Tubi TV. If you have that, Tubi TV. They have lots of movies on there. Lots of cool stuff to watch. Yeah. So. Cool. Yeah, little short commercial breaks, but they're very, very short. And it doesn't awesome. interrupt the movie too much. Cool. But it's cool. Not a waste of time this time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so there you go, guys. Another one in the book. Right. Check it off. Check off Sleepaway Camp, Ted. Check it off. Done. Uh, so there you go. We don't know what we're doing next week, but uh, stay tuned. Check out the Late Late Horror Show page if you're even here listening mm-hmm. or watching. And make sure you listen <laughs> to the song at the end of Sleepaway Camp. It's a really nice little pretty song. It is. Nice 80s electronica. Yes, gotta love it. Gotta <laughs> love it. Uh, anyways, there you go. Angela. Freaks, geeks, and weirdos. Angela. Take care. Later. Out. <laughs>